welcome everyone once again thank you so much for joining us already i appreciate you all so in this recipe today we are going to be making this tea that will help to boost our immune system if you form the habit of drinking this tea you will not be falling sick unnecessarily you will not be falling sick often you your immune system is going to be boosted and be strong and this tea we are going to just go into it and start making it right away here i have about four cups of water i'm adding this to the saucepan i'm making today four cups of water because i want to drink this tea in the morning and at bedtime this is the one of the teas you can drink any time of the day especially if you really want to boost your immune system but most especially you have to drink this first thing in the morning and also the last thing you're going to drink before you go to bed so the first thing we have here is onion i have this onion and this is the quantity i'm going to be adding to this because i have other wonderful ingredients that are also going to be added in this so this is my onion i'm going to be cutting it and i will add it to the saucepan some people ask somebody asked me on the comment section that he or she will prefer to juice this and drink it fresh you can do that but not everybody can drink it as you want to drink it so that is why i come up with this recipe making it this way so that almost everybody can drink it because some people do not like drinking raw onion juice so i'm adding to the saucepan the onion You can make this as a wife, as a husband. You drink it with your wife, your, your husband. This will really help to boost immune system. Nobody wants to fall sick these days, to be honest with you, especially with what is going on right now. Nobody wants to fall sick. So the only thing you can do is to help the family make tea like this so as to boost immune system and not to be falling sick all the time. Especially now we are in a cold weather, we have to boost our immune system with this kind of tea. So the next tea, the next thing I'm going to be adding here is a tea. And in this tea, in, in this tea, I have ginger, orange, and green tea all together. If you cannot find just like this combination, you can use orange and ginger tea because i know orange and ginger tea is almost popular many people have orange and ginger tea in their country but if you cannot find it in a tea then you can continue with other recipes you can continue with other ingredients which in this tea also we still have orange and ginger fresh orange and fresh ginger so i'm adding this to to boost up the flavor and uh, you know to add more benefit to it so that is the tea the tea once again is orange and ginger with green tea all together in one tea so if you're not opportunity to see that you continue with other ingredients and the next thing we have here like i said is ginger this is ginger and i'm going to be using about this quantity of ginger this is a two-time drink so i'm going to be using this quantity of ginger i'm going to be peeling it make this drink with people in your house boost immune system never fall sick all the time never fall sick include having flu having cold all those things are sickness if you if you are somebody that you drink all this herbal tea natural tea like this you are boosting your immune system you will not be getting all those infections or making you to fall sick all the time you will not be visiting doctors every day every time by drinking all this kind of herbal teas that are going to help you 
a lot. So I'm going to be washing the ginger. And while you're drinking this tea, you're eating healthy. That is my my way. I drink the tea. I try as much as I can to eat healthy. And you will be in a situation where your body has been boosted. Your immunity is high. I'm cutting the ginger to add to the saucepan. Like I said from the beginning, I'm going to be drinking this morning and night. I want to drink this for the whole day. Here is my ginger. We all know all the, the importance of all these wonderful things. Onion, ginger, green tea. They are, they are awesome. Green tea. And the next thing we have here is orange i'm using one orange i'm using one orange here so i'm going to be cutting the orange but i'm going to be juicing the half of the orange just for my image the one i'm going to drink right now so when i'm also going to be drinking it at night i will also juice half of orange to add to that so i'm getting the juice of the orange hold on let me go to where you can see me yeah so i'm going to be juicing the orange half of the orange Okay, here I have half of the orange. I'm going to be also be cutting the and put in the saucepan. And this is the half of the orange. So I'm going to be cutting this and just add to the saucepan because I also want this to sweeten the drink. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate you all. And after that, I'm going to be adding here two cinnamon sticks. If you don't have the stick, you can be you can use the powder one about just half of a teaspoon or one teaspoon if you're making it double like I am doing. One teaspoon you add to the saucepan. So I'm adding that to that. Cinnamon also help to boost immune system. This drink is also good to control your blood pressure if you're hypertensive. It's going to help you to bring it down naturally to a certain level. And it's also going to help to bring down your sugar level. Your cholesterol, if your cholesterol is high, it's also going to help you to achieve that. If you have clogged arteries, this is good for you. That is why I say you will not fall sick if you form the habit of drinking this kind of tea. And the next thing I have here is lime. This is one lime. I'm going to be cutting it and add to the saucepan. You can use lime, you can use lemon, anyone you have they are all in the citrus family lime orange all of them are in the citrus family 
and it helps in cleansing and detoxing the body, removing all those things that will make you to fall sick in the first place. That is what you achieve from adding all these things. This is one line. Our tea is also here. Everything is infusing into this water. And just check out this thing and you will know what you're, is, you're going to benefit from it. This thing is going to help you a lot. If you drink it at least every two or three days, you make this tea and you drink. Morning and night. If you don't have the time, make it like this. The one you're going to drink that particular day, make it with about four to five cups, depending on the quantity of the cup you normally use. You're supposed to be drinking about between 12 to 16 ounces. Or if you're, if you're somebody that you don't like drinking up to 16 ounces, 12 ounces is okay. You drink it about one and a half cup based on the me your measurement and you're good to go for that morning and in the night you repeat the same thing and your body definitely is going to be boosted it's going to be boosted believe me this is going to help to detox your body it's going to help to it's going to also help you to lose weight if you're bloated this will help to make you you know Visit the small house because bloodness makes you get belly fat. You get look or you look as if there is something in your stomach. This will help to detox you and melt those fat that you have anywhere around your body. It's a detox drink, it's a cleansing drink, it's a booster immune system booster. This is wonderful. Everything is entering into this water and you're going to drink this water after making this. Definitely, you know what is going to benefit your body. So you cook for about 15 minutes. The, the whole time for the cooking is 15 minutes. So we're going to wait for a few minutes more. Then the drink will be ready. I have other recipes on the channel where you can make fresh juice, fresh smoothies that will also help to boost your immune system, that will also help you never to fall sick again. I made this in a tea so that you will also be making something like this in a tea and drink. If you don't always find it uh, okay to be drinking cold drink, especially those juices are cold this you can make it and drink it if you're feeling cold and it's gonna warm you up it's gonna detox and cleanse you boosting your immune system like i said nobody wants to be sick especially with what is going on right now in the whole world nobody wants to fall sick so boost your immune system is what you have to do what you have to help your body to do for you because what you give your body is what your body is going to work with. If you don't give your body healthy food, your body will never work with those things that, he, that it doesn't have. So whatever that goes into your mouth is what your body will work with. So what I advise is while you're drinking this tea, always make sure to eat healthy because even if you drink this tea and you're eating food that are not supposed to work with this, this might not be effective as it's supposed to be with somebody that is already eating healthy things. Somebody asked me, do I, what kind of food do I eat? Do I always drink smoothies and juices and teas? No, I eat food, healthy food. I combine food and I eat and while I'm eating it, I'm drinking all these smoothies, juices and teas like that. 
like this, helping my body to work with the things I've given it. That's the, that's the only thing we have. The only thing we have in this world is this body. And if you don't take care of it, who will? Nobody. So there is, there is a saying that says you are what you eat. So whatever that goes in is what we definitely show in your body. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you so much. Appreciate everyone that commented, everyone that give, that have given this a thumbs up. Thank you so much. If you want other videos, that if you want other recipes that I have made to help you boost your immune system, I will link them on the comment section, or you can drop me a message or. A comment then I will drop the link directly on that comment that you have made so that you will get a notification about that comment that you made so our drink is getting ready so we are going to measure out the one we are going to drink now and I will keep the remaining one for the next time I'm going to drink So our tea is ready now for the sake of this video i'm going to be straining it immediately but if you're making yours please allow it to cool off for about five minutes then you can strain and drink by that time it is not going to be too hot for you to drink but for the sake of this video i wouldn't want to keep you longer so i'm going to be straining it out the measurement about one cup I'm going to be drinking right now. Then this, I will warm this one up whenever I'm going to be drinking for the next time. And here is the tea. So, this is the one I'm going to be drinking right now. So, I'm going to be drinking it. If You can drink it like this because the cinnamon in it has already sweetened it with the orange. But if you really want to top it up, add some sweet uh, sweetener to it, you can use raw honey. You can add honey to it but for me i'm going to be drinking it like this and why i kept this why i kept the orange is i'm going to be adding the half of the orange juice into the cup this also will help to sweeten it a little bit more so you see you might not need any sweetener to this because the orange juice that you're going to also add to this will also sweeten it a little bit but for me i'm going to wait a little bit so that my tea will cool off then i will add the orange juice and i will drink thank you so much for giving this video a thumbs up i appreciate you all for your support thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so the honey is optional but i would advise you if you can drink it like that that's very okay this is optional it's not for everyone that if you doesn't want don't put it so this is my orange juice half of the orange juice
so I add the half of the orange juice to this and you drink first thing in the morning wake your body up with this and end your day with this believe me you will notice something is going to really reflect on your body you will feel more better you will feel clean you are not going to be having all those especially if you always have cold blocked nose stuffy nose this tea is good for you it's going to help to clean to clear your nose and help to detox you remember those muko are the things that you have to remove out of your body they are toxins so you have to drink something like this to remove them so guys that's one of, that's what i have come to share with you once again today i hope you find this video helpful i hope this tea will help you to achieve a lot that will help you to boost your immune system help to keep you strong help you so that you don't fall sick all the time so guys thank you so much once again and i will see you very very soon in the next video bye bye for now